Welcome back everyone. So in this video, I want to show you how to sketch the derivative function from the original function. So we want to sketch f prime from f. So here's the graph of f, very common function, something that we are familiar with. Now, how does the derivative of this function look like? So that's what we want to do now. So let's suppose this is my xy plane and I want to do f prime here. So we know that f prime is really the slope at any given point. So let's keep that in mind. Now, every time you're drawing f prime, you want to see if there is any maximum or minimum because that's when the slope is zero, which means that's when we have an x-intercept for the derivative function. So by looking at this graph, I see I have a minimum right here. So here, my slope is zero. So that means this point on my derivative function is going to intersect the x-axis right there. So I know that. And then there's no other max or min, so let's continue on. The next, let's take a look at this side right here. So if I look at the graph to the left of zero, I see that the slopes of the tangent line are negative. Since the graph is decreasing, you can see that your m is less than zero, meaning negative. So if the slopes are negative, 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 and then as I get closer to that minimum point, it's flat zero. So where negative, negative slopes are down here. So I'm going to create a line that has slope negative like that. For instance, if you pick a point, let's say uh, negative 2, and if you go up here, this slope looks like a negative slope. So negative 2 is somewhere right here. Negative y value will be somewhere here. So some negative slope. So you can do that. And then continuing on to the right side of this, we can again do the same thing looking at this region. So that's right here for the f prime. I can pick a point, maybe one, and then um, I see that the slope right here of that tangent line is positive. And then if I pick more points, it's becoming more positive, more positive, more positive. So positive numbers are right here, more and more positive. That means my slope is constantly increasing or uh, very positive. So we're just going to go up like that positive slope so that will be the graph of f prime by looking at f of this graph and it makes sense to say that's the graph of f prime because if this was the graph if f of x here was x squared then its derivative we know it's going to be a linear function so say two times x and it makes sense that this is a graph of 2x where it passes through zero, zero. Here I have another function. So this is the graph of f, and we want to obtain f prime from here. So let's suppose this is our xy plane. And first thing you want to plot are the x-intercept for f prime. So we want to know where the slopes are zero. So it looks like this is a zero slope. So maximum, minimum. So if you have a max or a min, or something like this, which we call it inflection point. So inflection point, these are your x intercepts of f prime, the first derivative, because that's when the slope is zero. So here at the origin, the slope is zero again. That means we're passing through this point. Now let's go to the left, this region. Here, what's happening to our slope? Well, it looks like we're becoming positive, positive, and then eventually we hit zero. So it's very positive, and then a little positive, less steeper. So we're positive, so we're going to be right up here, because this is this region right here. Positive slope right here, these are the negative slope. So positive slope, we're going to be somewhere right here. So I'm going to curve it like that because it's a curve. Oh, and then for the second half of it, right here, if you observe the graph, so we're drawing right here. 
So positive slope, we're going to be up here. Negative slope, we're going to be down here. So let's see what the slopes are. So as I'm increasing from the zero slope, it looks like it's positive. So all these tangent lines are getting more steeper and steeper and very positive. So we're going to be above right here. So my graph is not so symmetrical. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and redraw the left side to so something like that positive slopes. So throughout the picture of x cubed, the slopes are positive. We go through the point zero, zero. That's when it's flat, the slope, and then positive again. And it makes sense if this is the graph of, let's say, f of x equals x cubed, then its derivative is one degree less. So the derivative function would be uh, some constant, in this case, will be 6x squared. So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to write that. This is x cubed. And then the derivative function would be just 3x squared. Here's the last function we're going to sketch its derivative. So here's our xy plane. And let's go ahead and find those max, min, or any inflection point. So I see there is a minimum here, so that's when your slope is 0. There's another maximum here that's when the slope is zero and here another minimum so the slope is zero so these are the three places where the derivative is going to be zero so if this is the graph of f prime so we're zero here and then zero zero and then just a little bit to the right so this one is this point right here and the zero zero is this one right here and this last m equals zero is that one. So those are my zero slope. So let me just go ahead and erase these. Now the next thing we want to do is see if the slope is positive or negative. So let's focus on this portion right here. From this zero slope to that zero slope. So we're looking at this region right here. Just a little portion of that. Here analyze that the slopes are positive they're positive and then they're getting close to zero so positive means up here negative means down here so from from the first zero to the second zero we're positive so i'm just going to curve it like that you can curve it up here like that too it doesn't really matter we're just getting best approximation to this so that's positive and then from this from the second zero to the last zero slope where r looks like negative and then it hits zero so negative means we're below the x-axis so we are something like that and then to the left all the way to the left uh, from this zero all the way here it looks like the slopes are let's see draw a little tangent line the slopes are negative negative they're going down and then they hit zero so negative slopes are below the x-axis so something like that that'll be the negative slope and the last region from this zero to on so that's this one right here where looks like the slopes are positive positive and very positive so something like that above the x-axis so that will be the graph of f prime